This is how you can code a website with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be the first video of the website programming series, so if you would like to see more of this type of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Before I show you how to make a website, I would just like to say that memberships are now available on my channel. You can get this by clicking the join button next to my username or clicking the link in the description. If you purchase the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy the code from the videos into your Discord or into your website so that you don't actually have to write it all out. If you buy the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this seems interesting to you, go ahead and click the join button and purchase one of these tiers. And with that, let's go ahead and get into making a website. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do before we actually start coding is you are going to need to download Visual Studio Code because that's the editor we are going to be using for this series. So go ahead and click the link in the description below and just go ahead and click download. Now that you have Visual Studio Code installed on your computer, we can actually go ahead and create the website file. So to do this, we're actually going to go ahead and click on the desktop. We're going to go ahead and click new. We're going to go ahead and make a folder and this is just going to be called the website. It doesn't really matter what you call it, just call it anything you want. So tutorial website. Just like that then just go ahead and open it up so you're going to want to go to the top bar right here and you're just going to want to type cmd and hit enter all right so now that you're here all you have to do is just type code space dot and click enter and it's going to go ahead and open up the code editor just like that so you go ahead and make this full screen and we can go ahead and create our first file so we're going to go ahead and click on files and we can do index.html we're also going to go ahead and create style.css as well all right so there are a couple ways you can do this the first way is you can type exclamation mark and just go ahead and put in in this code right here but I'm gonna show you how to do it a different way that works a little bit better and this is what we're gonna be using for the series if you want to follow along so we can start by making HTML tags so we can do HTML we can open this up just like that then we can make a head tag so head we'll say title so the title is going to be right here as you can see my title it says discord coding lounge at the very top the title is not this title it is the title that you're gonna see on the tab so I'm just gonna do tutorial website just to make it clear now we can come under the title and we can go ahead and get our style so we can do link and then we're going to do rel and then we can do style sheet and then we can do href and then we'll get our style.css file just like that all right so we can add a little bit more later but for now we're actually just going to go ahead and create the first paragraph on the website so the first tag that we're going to use is we're actually going to use our body tag so we can open that up now we can actually just go ahead and do h1 because that is header one header one is going to be like this as you can see on my sample website it says we will help you with your programming journey so in here i'm just going to do this is a tutorial website just like that. So for example, I'm gonna do H2 as well, and this is header two. And then we can also do H3, just to show you what that looks like as well. This is H3, and just like that. And we'll leave that for now. I will remove that later. So now we can actually go ahead and put in a paragraph. So we can just do P, we'll open that up. And in this paragraph tag, we can actually just go ahead and type anything we want. So for now, I'm just gonna type like, this is a paragraph for my tutorial website on YouTube, just like that. So we can do script and we will make this a tag just like that. And we're gonna leave that blank. We will do some JavaScript later on in the series, but for now we're just gonna create that tag so we can use it later. All right, so now we're actually gonna go ahead and run the website. Now keep in mind this website is gonna be very bare bone. It's gonna be black and white. It's not gonna have any images or anything like that because we only put in our text. So we can actually go ahead and click on run and we can go ahead and click run without debugging. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click web Chrome. Just make sure you're in an HTML file, otherwise this won't work. All right, as you can see, we have our website here. So it says this is a tutorial website. This is header two this is header three and this is a paragraph so as you can see we have our header one which is going to be the bigger header we have header two which is going to be a medium size and then we have header three which is pretty much just basic text that is bolded and a little bit bigger and then we have our paragraph you're going to notice that none of this is styled it's not as big as the sample website it's not in the center it doesn't have any color or a custom font or anything like that and that is where css comes in so what we can go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and start by giving the body an outline so we can go over to our css file file, we can do body, and we can go ahead and open this up. 
So what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna give it a background color to start. So we can do background and then we'll do color. And for the background color, I'm just gonna do a blue just so we can make this really clear. As you can see, it's gonna open up the website and it's gonna say all of the text that we had before, but we are gonna have a blue background. So that is how you're gonna use CSS to actually make this website. So we can actually go ahead and make the text color white so that pops out a little bit. So all we have to do to make the text color white is we're just gonna say color and then we can just do white like that. You're gonna notice that the text color is now actually white and before it was actually black. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more thing for this tutorial and then the rest of the formatting will come in the next video, but I'm gonna show you how to put the text in the center of the page. So what we can do is we can just do center and we'll open this up and then we can just go ahead and copy and paste everything into that center tag within the HTML file. And then if we go ahead and reload the page, as you can see now everything on the website is actually gonna be centered. Keep in mind, it's not bigger or anything, that will be in the CSS file, but that's how you can center text. So to build a good website, you're gonna to wanna to use a combination of HTML tags and CSS styling to make this look good. I'm gonna show you how to do all of this in future videos. This is just how you can get the website up and running looking like this, very bare bone, but this is actually how you can make a website. Last thing that you should keep in mind is this file location here is pretty much just opening up a file on your desktop. So for example, if I go into my tutorial website file and I just go ahead and click on the index.html file. As you can see, it's going to open up. So if I were to send this link to anyone else, it is not going to be able to open on their computer because this is a file on my desktop. In a future video, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually host this with GitHub pages for free, but that will be for later on. If this kind of thing is helpful for you, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help with this code, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out getting your website up and running. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.